Hello everybody, my name is Petr Koutny and today I will show you how to be a better chess player and I think that a good idea is to understand chess trading. So chess exchange looks like a really simple move because you are going to trade one piece for another piece but it's not a really fair business because sometimes you are trading your worst for better or maybe your better for worst and it's good idea to understand when this exchange is set good idea, good move and when it's a mistake. So I hope you will enjoy this video and let's start. For example here after move knight to c6 and d4 I will start with a really simple example. Black is taking on d4 and this is fine exchange because um, d4 pawn is in the center and c5 pawn is not in the center so black is going to exchange not a center pawn for a center pawn i think this is a fair business to black and he's taking on d4 white is taking by a knight and here uh, this is another decision do you think it's a good idea to take this knight one more time? So, simple, simple exchange one knight for another knight? Yes, of course, this is a mistake and maybe this simple example will help you to solve much more harder examples in the future. So, for example, here, in case black is playing this exchange, is a mistake because it's going to help white to bring his queen in the center and it's only white who got a queen in the center and I think white got advantage. So that was an example how not to trade the pieces and how not to play a chess. Another option here is here for example bishop to b5 and say after move g6. Here why should take knight on c6? At first it's not good idea to exchange your bishop for knight because nearly every time I will tell you that you need to have a reason. If you are going to exchange piece for another piece, you need to have reason and here white's got a nice reason. So what's going on? Why white is taking this knight? Mm, and he know that black will enjoy two bishops advantage but at the other side two bishops need open position and for this reason white is playing move d3 h3 and say after h5 it's not a simple a simply clear that black's two bishops are strong because this position is say semi open, semi-closed or closed, but that was the idea and you saw that it's not easy every time to make the right decision. For example, another example is waiting for you here and I hope you will enjoy this video. So if yes, feel free and press like and press follow. So for example here, this position is asking for move bishop to g5 and h6. At uh, previous example we saw exchange bishop for knight and here exactly if white is going to exchange this knight one more time this is a mistake and why this is a mistake say uh, white will take on f6 watch this bishop you know you have to uh, watch not exactly what you are trading but what will left on your chessboard so uh, watch your rest pieces after trading and exactly here light squares white bishop is a bad bishop and this exchange doesn't make a sense at all so never ever trade your piece without sense without any reason you know if you are going to exchange piece every time ask if you have the reason if you don't have the reason for this exchange don't do it that's my advice and let's go on for another example here exactly that's a nice uh, idea when bishop is good to exchange for a knight. Why? Bishop to g5, say h6 and exchange knight will be stronger than black's dark squares bishop. You know, sometimes you know that it's a bad idea to take your bishop opponent's knight. Sometimes it's the best idea, so you need to check your pawn's formation and you need to check another another structure of your position. But uh, every time, follow my advice, if you don't have a reason, don't exchange. If you have a reason, just exchange. And now white's got a nice reason because white's knight will be much more stronger than black's bishop. 
that's cool okay another example or another position say uh, another good reason when to exchange piece for the same piece is to make weaknesses and uh, if you are going to exchange blacks dark squares bishop on g7 that's a nice idea and follow this idea because the black's king should be a little bit weakened or weak king and dark squares around this king are weak nearly forever so that's good idea to play one day bishop to h6 and just go and exchange this piece on g7 that was nice and typical idea here why to play and maybe this is a first example to you ask yourself what you will play and the first question do you think that this exchange is a good exchange to you no of course not because knight on c5 is nearly your best piece what's your worst piece and i am sure that your worst piece is this bishop so what do you think about exchange about a uh, trade uh, have you got any ideas yes of course if you are going bishop to h3 you are going to exchange your bad piece and of course you are going to win quite maybe over important e6 weakness so the best plan here it was to trade light squares bishop that was nearly winning plan so bishop to h3 say check and maybe this position looks like unclear I'm sure that because of this uh, light squares bishops exchange white's got advantage and I'm sure that white is playing for win uh, to make the right decision every time you watch your pawn formation this pawn formation will give you advice nearly every time which piece is good to, uh, to uh, trade and which piece is not good to trade why to move and what do you think white will play here if you have had in material and why this pawn up, just exchange everything and play winning end game. Yes, of course. Uh, why to go on c6? One exchange. Second exchange is here. Third is here. And the last one is here. And at the end, of course, this pawn end game is won for white because white's got extra material. And it was a winning plan. You know, it's a simple uh, how to play chess. It's good idea to understand when it's, when it's good idea to exchange your pieces and when not. And one more time, you need to have a reason. And the reason is, for example, if you have more material, then go and trade your pieces. I hope it was nice. Another example is here. So, if you are under pressure and your, your opponent is going to attack you, exchange his Queen. If you are going to change his queen, there is no more attack and you will survive. So for this reason, uh, this move is the best move because without the black queen, there will not be attack and you are safe. So absolutely the right answer, the right position and I think that at the end two bishops in the case uh, why they will manage to open position will bring white's side advantage. Nice? Okay, let's go on and let's see another example. What do you think white will play here? Yes, I think I told you that uh, watch pawn formation and this pawn formation is speaking simply for you. Light squares, white bishop is a bad piece and it's a good idea to exchange this piece. How to do it? And the best move is bishop to h3. Of course, at the end it's check here and you will take back this piece and you manage to exchange your worst piece it's a good idea to exchange your worst placed piece and to keep on the board only good pieces that's a plan of chess masters so be sure to h3 and check and i'm sure that everything's fine and black may be standing worst because white managed to exchange his good sorry bad uh, light squares bishop Okay, another example, it's waiting here. Yes, uh, what do you think white will play here? Maybe stop this video for a few seconds and ask yourself, is there any good exchange to me? Yes, there is. Um, knight to c3 happened and bishop to d5. After this exchange, uh, one more time, this knight 
will jump to d5 and this knight will be much more stronger than opponent's dark squares bishop and that's exactly what's going on or maybe it's not important to go there by knight maybe by rook but at the end still i'm right if i will tell you that knight on e4 is much more stronger than dark squares black bishop and mainly because this pawn formation so yes as you know uh, peace exchange is a really important chess plan and every time follow my advice if you are going to exchange a piece you need to have a reason here black to move and what do you think black will play and yes it's a simple question if you will ask have i any bad piece yes i do uh, this bishop on e7 is bad so how to play this position and then if you have the right question in the right time and you know the answer you are playing like chess master so knight to e8 bishop to g5 and well done you manage to play this position as master because uh, black was able to exchange his worst placed piece and he played this position like master because every master know that it's a bad idea to keep on the board bad pieces and you have only two plans uh, first to improve second to exchange and the, the right now it was the second plan another example is waiting to you for here and uh, black is playing this position and only because of good exchange he is going to be better okay maybe this position looks unclear but black took on f3 why not and now he played giving to c4 he is looking for another exchange and well done you know if you understand when to trade your pieces and when not and <laughs> you should be a really strong chess master uh, white took on c4 and rook to d1 knight to b6 and another exchange you know piece by piece are going to be trade but at the end black's advantage is going to be much more bigger and bigger and you know watch this position and i'm sure that you are going to watch much more better position for black than in beginning because right now uh, Rook on c4, knight on d5 are much more stronger than white species and everything was possible only because of a right exchange, a right trade. You know, maybe, I, maybe in your next games, when you will play your chess games, think every time about exchange, think every time about trades and in case you are going to take something, Think twice and ask yourself if you have a really good reason to play this move. If not, don't do it. So, bishop to e3 and now watch this game because this game will be full of exchange. One is here, okay. Bishop to g4. Another is waiting here. Another happened on d4, e2 and uh, rook d1. And after this exchange, White's managed to exchange nearly everything. At least he is in a winning position because he is going to win a d5 pawn. Why? Because one move to left, another move to left, and after move c4, yes, of course, uh, White is uh, exchanging everything. At the end, he is playing for win because he is pawn up. And everything was possible because of exchange because of trades and my advice to you every time think twice if you are going to exchange something and ask yourself if you have reason if yes do it if not don't do it and maybe you have the reason to follow my youtube chess channel so if yes feel free and press like and press follow and you have my big big thank you so thank you very much for watching thank you very much for every likes and follows and i hope i will see you soon in our another youtube chess video see you soon bye bye